Hey guys, this is Ronnie here from Southern Food Junkie, and today we're gonna be cooking on the George Foreman. We're gonna throw a New York strip on there, and we're gonna tell you how long it takes to cook a steak on the George Foreman. So y'all stay tuned. The George Foreman is arguably the most successful small appliance that was ever invented. With well over 100 million of them sold, many households had them, and for good reason. They're just simple and they work great. There are a few things to take into account before we consider the recommended grilling times on the George Foreman. First, how thick is the steak we're grilling? Second, what cut of meat are we grilling? Here we got a New York strip. And lastly, did the steak come right out of the refrigerator or did you let it sit out for 10 or 20 minutes? We coated this New York strip with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then we threw it on the George Foreman. So while we got this steak on, I want to give you a little bit of information about it. This is a New York strip steak. This steak is roughly about an inch and a half thick, which is a fairly thick steak. If you're using a thin steak, it's not going to take any time to cook on this George Foreman. What's unique about this George Foreman, and I guess you could say very great, is it has heating elements in the top and the bottom. So when you close it on top like that, it's cooking both sides at once. You don't need to flip it. You don't need to do anything. You just put it, pretty much set it in there. Now, there's a lot of as seen on TV gimmicks that I call them that come out, rotisserie cooker, there's all kind of things. This item right here is probably one of the greatest ones that's ever come out of this as seen on TV. If you're a student that's living in a dorm or a single family, these things are great. But not only that, if you're a family like ours, uh, we're a family of five, you come home, you need something quick to eat, you can throw a couple hamburgers on here and be done with it. And it cooks them pr pretty good and it's I don't know as far as the health fact of it, you know, the the, uh, the juice from the burgers, the, the fat and all, it drips off and it, and it goes into this little container here. But what I want to talk to you about is how long do you cook, how long do you cook a steak on the George Foreman? So, uh, rare is 120 degrees and medium rare would be 130, medium would be 140, 150 would be medium well and 160 is well done. So when you're cooking meat, you want to let it rest when you take it off the grill or your heating element, your, whether it's a pan, the oven, whatever you have it in, you want to let it rest for you know five to 10 minutes. I like five minutes because if you go much longer than that, then the meat cools off. Let's say you let it get to medium and you put the probe in it and check it and it's 140. Well, if you pull it off and let it rest, it's going to continue to rise in temperature before it starts falling back down. So you may end up with a medium well steak. So if you want a medium steak, you got to pull it off about five degrees before it actually gets there. So if you want a, a rare steak, you need to pull it off, you know, 115 degrees. The best way to cook is by a thermometer. Now this is the one I use. This is a Pamper Chef. Uh, Thermoworks makes probably the best one there is. And I'll leave a link down below to it. You have to go directly to their website to buy their brand. These, this is the one that all the chefs use, but um, it's an instant read thermometer and it is fast. This one right here is a little slow. You have to stick it in there and it, it takes maybe 20, 30 seconds to get an accurate reading before it stops. The, the Thermalworks brand, you plug it in there, it, it's pretty quick. You, you can already see that it's got a good caramelization on there. That's because I put olive oil on it. I put salt and pepper on this and some olive oil before I started. So we're at 100 at five minutes. So one more thing that can throw this off is is your meat at room temperature or did you get it out of the refrigerator? This steak right here that we're cooking comes straight out of the refrigerator and that's typically not recommended. And I need this cooked. So this steak is not at room temperature and that's probably affecting uh, the internal temperature of the steak. All right, as you can see, this steak is done. Has a nice crust to it. I'm 
was a beautiful medium. Look at all that juice. All right, so here are my final numbers on the steak. These temperatures vary depending on whether the steak is uh, room temperature or if it's cool. So for a rare steak, you're gonna want it, you're gonna want to cook it for four to six minutes. Medium rare, you want to go five to seven minutes. Medium, you want it six to eight minutes. Medium well, you want seven to nine. Well done, you want eight to ten minutes. So those are two minute increments. As always, guys, double check with your instant re thermometer don't want to mess up your steak but these are a good um i guess you'd say guideline to go by for when you use the george foreman on how long to cook your steaks i think you'll enjoy this and this will give you kind of a base point to start with as always we want to thank you for stopping by southern food junkie make sure you hit that little subscribe button that's about to pop up also there's going to be two videos that pop up right here check one of those videos out I feel like it'll be something you'll like as well. We'll see you next time on Southern Food Junkie. And remember, let's get food junk.